In those days shall the mighty and the kings who possess the earth implore him to grant them a little respite from his angels of punishment, to whom they were delivered, that they might fall down and worship before the Lord of spirits and confess their sins before him. And they shall bless and glorify the Lord of spirits and say, Blessed is the Lord of spirits, and the Lord of kings, and the Lord of the mighty, and the Lord of the rich, and the Lord of the glory, and the Lord of wisdom, and splendid in every secret thing is thy power from generation to generation, and thy glory forever and ever. Deep are all thy secrets, and innumerable, and thy righteousness is beyond reckoning. We have now learnt that we should glorify and bless the Lord of kings, and him who is king over all things. And they shall say, Would that we had rest to glorify and give thanks and confess our faith before his glory. And now we long for a little rest, but find it not. We follow hard upon and obtain it not. And light has vanished from before us, and darkness is our dwelling place for ever and ever. For we have not believed before him, nor glorified the name of the Lord of spirits, nor glorified our Lord. But our hope was in the scepter of our kingdom, and in our glory, and in the day of our suffering and tribulation. He saves us not, and we find no respite for confession, that our Lord is true in all His works, and in His judgment, and in His justice. And His judgments have no respect of persons, and we pass away from before His face on account of our works. And all our sins are reckoned up in righteousness, now they should say unto themselves, Our souls are full of unrighteous gain, but it does not prevent us from descending from the midst thereof into the burden of Sheol. And after that their faces shall be filled with darkness and shame before that Son of Man. And they shall be driven from his presence, and the sword shall abide before his face in their midst. Thus spake the Lord of Spirits. This is the ordinance and judgment with respect to the mighty and the kings and the exalted and those who possess the earth before the Lord of Spirits. And other forms I saw hidden in that place. I heard the voice of the angels saying, These are the angels who descended to the earth and revealed what was hidden to the children of men and seduced the children of men into committing sin. And in those days Noah saw the earth, that it had sunk down, and its destruction was nigh. And he arose from thence, and went to the ends of the earth, and cried aloud to his grandfather Enoch. And Noah said three times with an embittered voice, Hear me! Hear me! Hear me! And I said unto him, Tell me what it is that is falling out on the earth, and that the earth is in such evil plight and shaken, lest perchance I shall perish with it. And thereupon there was a great commotion on the earth, and a voice was heard from heaven, and I fell on my face. And Enoch, my grandfather, came and stood by me, and said unto me, Why hast thou cried unto me with a bitter cry and weeping? And a command has gone forth from the presence of the Lord concerning those who dwell on the earth that their ruin is accomplished because they have learnt all the secrets of the angels and all the violence of the satans and all their powers, the most secret ones, and all the power of those who practice sorcery and the power of witchcraft and the power of those who make molten images for the whole earth and how silver is produced from the dust of the earth and how soft metal originates in the earth for lead and tin are not produced from the earth like the first. It is a fountain that produces them, and an angel stands therein, and that angel is preeminent. And after that my grandfather Enoch took hold of me by the hand and raised me up, and said unto me, Go, for I have asked the Lord of spirits as touching this commotion on the earth. And he said unto me, because of their unrighteousness, their judgment has been determined upon and shall not be withheld by me forever, because of the sorceries which they have searched out and learnt. The earth and those who dwell upon it shall be destroyed, and these they shall have no place of repentance forever, because they have shown them what is hidden. And they are the damned. But as for thee, my son, the Lord of spirits knows that thou art pure and guiltless of this reproach concerning the secrets. 
and he has destined thy name to be among the holy, and will preserve thee amongst those who dwell on the earth, and has destined thy righteous seed both for kingship and for great honors. And from thy seed shall proceed a fountain of the righteous and holy without number forever. And after that, he showed me the angels of punishment who are prepared to come and let loose all the powers of the waters which are beneath the earth in order to bring judgment and destruction on all who abide and dwell on the earth. And the Lord of Spirits gave commandment to the angels who were going forth, that they should not cause the waters to rise, but should hold them in check. For those angels were over the powers of the waters. And I went away from the presence of Enoch.